hi welcome back guys today i am back with another new video in this video i will discuss with very interesting hard sql problem so please watch this video at the end you learn lots of thing so let start the video first discuss the question question is the write a sql query to find company name whose revenue increase every year okay so i have to find the company name whose revenue increase by year by year okay so here you can see that so this one my company revenue entire data set id company name year and revenue okay so basically in the data set having total three companies companies a companies b and companies c correct so here you can see that for company a in 2022 revenue is the 100 2022 revenue 200 so revenue is increased next year and again revenue in 2024 is the 150 so it decreased so before 2023 is 200 and 2024 is the 150 so the company a this will not come into the output now go with the company b company b 2022 100 2023 200 and 2024 300 so every year it increasing so company b is coming to the output so here you can see that my expected output is the company b now go with the company c company c 2022 23 2024 revenue is the 200 then 100 is decreasing then again increasing so this will not come into the output so in my output is the only company b so let us start the video how we can solve this problem okay so first i have to use the lag lag uh, window function in the lag window function i have to generate the previous year revenue okay so in the company a previous year revenue is the because 2022 is the starting year so previous year revenue is the zero and if i go here in 2023 uh, revenue is the 200 and previous year revenue is how much is 100 okay so i have to use here lag function and lag uh, function and i have to use and I have to give in the here uh, argument I, I want revenue column okay revenue column and I have to give the from previous day so I am giving as a one and I have to use window function so I have to use here over clause and I have to use partition by because I want to uh, find the for particular uh, company basis not the entire company okay so I have to use here partition by partition by company name partition by company name and i have to use order by also company name okay so here i have to give alias s previous year revenue previous year revenue so if i run this one so here you can see that i will getting the for uh, company a in 2022 revenue is the 100 but previous year is not uh, present in the data set so i'll getting the null in 2022 revenue is the 200 and previous year is the 100 so i'll getting here 100 uh, if 2024 i'll getting the revenue is the 150 for company a and previous year is the 200 correct so i want null as a zero so i have to give one more argument as a zero so if <clears throat> no value is present so i'll getting the zero so if i run this one so here you can see that i'll getting the for 2022 previous year's revenue zero for company b 2022 previous year revenue zero and two and company c 2022 previous year revenue is still zero okay now i have to find the revenue difference okay so i have to subtract with the revenue minus previous year revenue okay so i have to use your revenue minus i have to copy entire this one so using this uh this query i will getting the previous year revenue so i have to copy this one and revenue minus this one i have to give alias as difference revenue difference revenue revenue difference revenue difference okay so if i run here so now here you can see that i will getting the revenue difference for 2022 is the 100 and 200 minus 100 is the 100 and 150 minus 200 i'll getting the 150 so i will execute all the minus record so this one is the for company i'll get in the minus record so i have to exclude this company a for company b i'll not getting the any minus record so i have to include this one as a output and company so, uh, c i'll getting the again minus 
uh, in the revenue difference so i have to exclude this company c also okay so now i have to one more uh, i have to window function i have to use as a count window function i have to use count one over i want to find the total uh, company how many years are there so in this case i'll get in the total company data as a three for in this case company total data as a three and company three also three all that three uh, total like uh, company details okay so i have to use over partition by partition by company name company name and order by also company name company name and i have to as count okay i have to use as a before count so if i run so now here you can see that i'll get in the all the record three because for company a is a three times so i'll get in three company b is the also three times so i'll getting the three and company c also three times so i'll getting the total as a three okay so now i have to use here ct with ct as I have to close this one. I have to go down. So I have to use select star from CT. C CT. If I run, I will getting the same output. Okay. Now I am going to uh, where condition. I don't want this record as a. I want all the record uh, where revenue difference greater than zero. Okay. So if I use revenue difference greater than zero. I will exclude this record and I I will exclude this record also. Okay, so I have to use here where condition where revenue difference greater than zero. So if I run here, so now here you can see that I will getting A as a two times, B three times, and C only two times. Okay, now I am here again. I have to count again this 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 one i have to use count one again partition by company name and order by also company name so i have to use this function again i have to use alias as as alias as after count after count correct so if i run this one so now here you can see that i will getting the after count as a three uh, for company b again after count as a three but company C after count is a two. So this before count and this after count is match for company B only and company A and company C is not match before count and after count. Correct. So now I have to use here one more CT comma CT CT one as select star from CT one where before a difference before count equals to after count before count equals to after count is the select star from ct1 equals to after count so if i run i will getting the only company b so now i have to use here distinct distinct company name distinct company name so if i use distinct company name so i will getting only company b so if i run this one so i will getting the expected output as a company b is the revenue increase every year okay so now go with the method 2 okay in the method 2 i have to copy this one this one i have to paste here okay so if i run this one i will getting the all the details with previous year revenue revenue difference and before count and i have to i have to keep this output in ct ct as i have to use select from ct in the ct i need only company name i need only company name and i need here before count before count before count B E F O R before count from C T. Okay, so if I run, I will get in the two output, and I have to use one more where condition, where revenue difference greater than zero. If I use revenue difference greater than zero, I exclude this record and company C this record also. Okay, so if I run here, if I run this one, so now here you can see that for company A, I will getting the only two record, company B three record and company C two record. Okay, now here I have to use the count one, count one or count star anything you can use. 
as after after count and here i have to use group by because here i am using aggregation okay so i have to group by as a company name and come before count so i have to use here group by company name and before count so if i run this one so now here you can see that i will get in the before count and after count now i am to use having clause having before count equals to count star count star if i use before count equals to count star so before count is the 3 and count star as a 2 so this one is the not getting the same output so i'll getting as a company b so if i run this one so now here you can see that i'll getting on the company b i don't require this column so i have to remove from this one i remove from this one so if i simply run this one i will getting the expected output as a company b so i hope you understand this video if you still have doubts please comment on the below if you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye